So I've been on this quest lately to find great coffee shops in Denver, new places. Never been to the one that we're about to visit, but I also never thought to look in a car. Our Brian Wendland grabbed his camera and went to check it out. Take one of those, you got it. Owning a coffee shop has its challenges. <laughs> I started off over on Wewata, and then I just suddenly just made my way over here. But running this place leads to issues most baristas don't have to worry about. I do have to watch how much I drink because there is no restroom in here. Matthew Pendleton is a mobile barista. He got the idea for on the road coffee when he saw a similar business on a trip to Thailand. Three weeks after I got back, I bought this beetle and just slowly started putting it together. And I've been doing it for three years now. He parks his 1968 bug on 16th and Winecoop by Union Station Wednesday through Sunday. And he makes enough money to support his real passion. I started this whole project so I could focus more time on artwork. I do these abstract drawings with uh, ink or graphite. Matthew's work hangs on display in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and his coffee bug has become a piece of art in its own right. So cute. <laughs> Every day is picture day. <laughs> Even people who don't want coffee stop by. I mean, I'm glad to put a smile on people's faces. Um, just for doing a simple thing. Three years in, even the biggest challenges haven't slowed Matthew down. I've had my generator stolen before right here. Uh, that's one thing I've, I've, I've witnessed. The positives of running a coffee shop out of a car like this tend to outweigh the negatives. There's plenty of good things that I've seen. Um, just simply people having a good time, um, just walking around, just enjoying themselves. And when you love what you do. Nice, thank you. Even the slow days in a small car seem to go by fast. Yeah, there we go. For next. Matthew, thanks again. I'm Brian Wendland.